Hey guys, this is Jay Snow with a pretty simple video of how pet battles work, the UI, and where to find your pet trainer. So right now I don't have a horde character up on the beta, but if you just talk to a guard you'll easily find your trainer. So on the Stormwind trainers actually need a portals to what do you call it, the Cataclysm Zone. So here's your pet trainer, obviously it's packed. Now you learned the pet training, I already learned it because it was actually bugged earlier this morning. But it's like about 85G for the pet training. Not, I think you have to be level 5. I might have that wrong, but it should be around that level. And let me actually complete that quest. See you around. And you'll get a quest after you get the pet training to do other pet quests, to battle other trainers and stuff. So let's go straight into the UI. So in the UI, you can see I have a ton of pets. Some pets do not work, like for example, Father's Winter's Helper is not actual battle pet. So I'm actually gonna slowly, I'm actually doing this commentary live, so I'm gonna slowly move away from there because that's a very laggy spot since this just came out, I think, yesterday. So let's actually go to pet I have active right now. So the pets learn six abilities, and each one is getting them at a different level. So first, your, parts, your pet starts with one attack, and then at level two, you'll get its second attack, and then level four, 10, 15, and 20. Now you can have six attacks, but you can only have three during a battle. So you actually select them by going to this drop-down menu. But as you can see here, I'm actually in only level two of my pets, so I only have two abilities. Also, each ability has its advantages and disadvantages. For example, if I use Claw on a critter, it will do more damage. But if I use Claw on a flying type, then it's not going to do that much damage. It will also show your type. So right now, my type is obviously Dragonkin. And it shows damage taken up 50% from humanoid abilities, down 33% from flying abilities. So of course it works basically like Pokemon for you Pokemon players. Here is the HP, so my guy has 240 HP. There's the power, that's how much damage that will be done on average. And the speed, which determines which pet can go first. Also, you have three paddle pet slots. And there's two, two slots you have to unlock. Right now I have to hit level 3. For another slot and then level 5 for my third slot once you hit level 5 you could find a battle now I'm not sure how this works I think it's kind of like a looking for group thing so it'll just match right now it says matches you against the player of similar skill in a pet battle so once you hit level 5 you can start doing I guess random pet battles so that's pretty cool also if your pet dies the bug earlier was actually earlier this morning was all pets started off dead which was a pretty stupid bug but if you want to revive your pets, every 15 minutes you can revive all your pets. And then you can just switch them out. So let's say I want to switch out this guy. So I'm just going to drag this guy over to here. And now Mr. Chili is my pet. But I'm going to switch right back to Golden Dragonhawk. Now to find battle pets, you actually get a new search option that says track pets. Now I, there was actually one on the screen where it looks like that guy actually found it. So I'm going to go look for another pet to battle. Now you can see on my map there's a green thing, that's how you will find a pet, if it's battleable or whatever you want to call it. Now you just walk up to the pet, click it, and you will enter a battle. So as you can see right here, the battle begins. There's some music in the background, I don't know if you guys can hear it, it might sound usually low, so I'm sorry if you can't hear the music. So it looks like my pet's going to go first because it has more speed. And this pet has 18 attack, 27, and 2 ability scratch and adrenaline rush. So I'm going to actually look at this new ability I just got, so it deals Rake. It deals 36 beast damage and reduces the target's next attack by 50%. It's good against Critter, and this is a Rabbit, so it's a Critter, so that would be a very good attack. So I'm going to use Claw, so I hit 2. And wow, the Rabbit freaking dodged. Wow. So now its Adrenaline actually kicked in, and it has speed increased by 100%, so its ability is actually giving it more speed. It's going to actually attack me first. And there goes the claw attack, so it's actually a strong attack. And now he has the attack reduction debuff. So, I mean, it works pretty smoothly. I mean, we'll have to see once we get more in depth. I think pets go up to about level 25 max. And you could sell these pets on the auction house at stronger levels. So, obviously, for all you gold makers, the, the higher level pets you get, the higher level you get it, the more you would sell it on the auction house. So there you go, I won the pet battle, just got 55 experience, and if I go to my pet tab, I could, basically I just have to kill one more pet and I'll hit level 3 and unlock my second battle pet. So that's it for this video, hopefully you guys liked it, please thumbs it up if you enjoyed this video or learned something from it. Also check out my channel for more WoW videos, I'm currently doing gold making guides about once a week in preparation for Mr. Pandaria, 
And of course, once I level my pet more, we'll get more juicy, I guess, pet details for you guys. So thanks for watching, as always. See you guys next time.